Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Finally got around to make a video on this. I have the colored blue in the background of my Wish Smart Bulb, because in this video, let's talk about another thing that I'm interested in. Beyond Calgary Sports, as I do kind of have a interest in art as well as museums, but this is the Beyond Van Gogh experience that I took in. Right here in Calgary, actually, it's been almost a month since I've actually taken in. And I do have in this video my whole slideshow of pictures. So you can look in the description below for timestamps. This is all teed up. And then I'll cue to the slideshow and I'll give my final thoughts at the end as well as the music I put in. But it was until like, the third week of October, it was the week before Halloween, that I finally took in the Beyond Van Gogh that was set up here in Calgary at the BMO Center at Stampy Park. I made an afternoon of it where I went to the Beyond Van Gogh first, and then I went to the Calgary Hitman game afterwards. But considering this Beyond Van Gogh started at the end of July... Actually, I've checked on the website. Apparently, it's going to be offered until the end of the year, as in end of 2021. As, you know, we're into November, as what that Border Collie calendar says. But also the fact that I'm glad that I've ultimately put off making this video is that this won't be the first of its kind of a, you know, immerse yourself experience, as they say, where you see... A particular famous artist, you know, painting come to life his whole palette, his whole you know, whole gallery that Beyond Van Gogh has been offered in various markets all over North America, and I would have to put at the end is the price worth it. But I also heard here in Calgary, there's no date. It's confirmed it will come probably as soon as when Beyond Van Gogh is done sometime early in the new year in 2022 that there's actually already a Beyond Monet coming to Calgary which is kind of a similar experience and apparently I also heard there's a, a Da Vinci similar experience which definitely intrigues me that are we going to see more of this in the future which I'm going to say is very unique I'm be able to show the artwork a famous artist from the past that it's a lot more cost effective and give you a unique experience so this is just teeing it up so let's uh, peel off to the slideshow so this is the slideshow I have and some of the unique quotes that you see at the beginning and then I'll tell you my experience after and do I think it's worth it so here's the slideshow
definitely quite a long slideshow. I mean, I did take lots of pictures. It, it starts off that you get in. I mean, you book off and block off an hour. I mean, it starts off that you get in. And regardless where you stand on the subject matter, and don't get mad at me or the people running the show, it's, it's an old government mandate that you need to be fully vaccinated and wear a mask now as per, you know, health regulations. And they do try to time it so that they don't have too many people in its place. But besides that out of the way, you do come in and then you see all those quotes and I definitely see some of those quotes going back into the 1850s to 1880s and I found out that Van Gogh, he actually only lived to be 37 and he ultimately committed suicide and basically those quotes that you see in those frames at the start that I had at the start of my slideshow that it gives you an idea that some of the quotes that he said then still kind of applies today. Given, you know, what's, what's been going on with the stress and anxiety, the BS and, you know, of what's been going on, COVID and other stuff. But then after you get through all that, you get into a, kind of a room they recommend that you stay for 10 minutes. Which to kind of get your eyes adjusted to what you're about to see and I mean it is a dark darkened room and then once you get out of that that's where the heart of the exhibit is where it's a half an hour sequence time and when I got there I was there about 15 minutes early so I was able to figure out the whole sequence but once you walk in I mean you're in this big big massive room and you see all of his artwork and you don't realize, I didn't realize until I got there and looked up that he had over 200 works of art. Of course I picked the blue because the one piece of artwork that Van Gogh is most synonymous for and actually my parents had a, not the original obviously, but you know, duplicate of the Starry Night that it's called. One with the swirly hills. I mean there's a couple versions of the Starry Night and definitely got that signature shot in the experience, but it looked like he had a lot of portraits, you know, a lot of landscapes. And everything that just kind of felt like it came to life was, you know, with all the flowers blowing around. I did feel my allergies were, you know, bracing itself because it almost felt that realistic. And, uh, and I can say it's what it is, you immerse yourself in experience. I mean, when it comes to ticket prices, I know that, uh, I went on a Sunday. I mean, I can't go during the day, during the week. But it's $10 more on the weekend. It was like $53 for me to go on the weekend where it's $43 if you go like Monday to uh, Thursday, I believe. And then actually I see now that uh, when it's offered in December, basically it's Monday, Tuesday, or not offered. And basically it's offered like Wednesday through Sunday minus Christmas Day in December, so you still have a chance to go, and apparently there's still a couple more if you go early Sunday morning that you can go do yoga. Imagine doing yoga to Van Gogh, but I would say the price is a little steep, but I would say for the hour that I got to stay or spend there, I'd definitely say it was worth it. Got to touch my other artsy, sophisticated side, and of course eventually you get corralled into a uh, gift shop and you see generic gifts and that of course you know sign of the times now that we're still in I didn't buy any because I figured I took enough pictures and got my experiences and eventually made the video which I know that uh, when it first started it I thought it was only going to be from like end of July till the end of August and I'm like damn I missed out on it because I was busy in August then I saw it was extended and then of course, the week that I took off after the Labor Day rematch, it wasn't offered, but it was, you know, still offered till the end of September to early October. So I figured I was going to go then, but then I decided I wanted to go to Regina Thanksgiving weekend, and I thought I was going to miss out on that. Then I saw it was offered until the end of October, the end of November. Now it's offered until the end of December. So definitely was an ample time to uh, take this in. I'm definitely glad that I took it in and 
I just wonder if this is going to kind of be a new experience to bring in, you know, be able to see one particular artist's whole, you know, gallery, artwork, palette, whatever you like to call it. I mean, it's one way to experience it. I guess, you know, kind of promote social distancing because you're in a big room and you're surrounded by all the artwork. And I went to saw the whole, you know, sequence, as I meant to say, you know, just how even on the floor, you know, it's just impressive how I saw it on the floor. But I just got to wonder how would the artist feel today if, you know, if you were to bring Van Gogh now seeing how much his artwork is appreciated now and just have the technology to be able to you know see it come to life and I know that one experience had the uh, you know sketch out of the town and that too so uh, of course the story night is what is Van Gogh is most synonymous for most associated with but uh, I'm gonna say if you took in the Beyond Van Gogh either here in Calgary or wherever you are to happen to watch this video what was your experience of it was the price worth it based on what i see for the beyond monet because apparently i saw prices in toronto that it's going to be a little less than beyond van gogh but could that also mean that the monet not as familiar with all these big artists that doesn't have as much of a palette or a gallery but i definitely would say it was a little steep, and I had to, you know, you have this thing called a budget, you got to work hard, where it's like, I couldn't do both a uh, football game and Beyond Van Gogh at the same time, I had to spread it out, and it wasn't offered that week that I was off, where I could have gone during the day, during the week, and saved a few bucks. I mean, if you can, go ahead, but uh, it's a little bit more to go on the weekend. They have a flex pass, where you're you can go a couple hours, but it costs a little more for that convenience. But uh, it was that day that I finally decided I'm going to go. I pumped down my money, and it's Universe at Pretty. Universe, uh, it's called Universe, that uh, everybody now seems to have a different uh, ticket application that isn't with Ticketmaster. But yeah, just Google Beyond Van Gogh Calgary. I think the website's calgaryvangogh.com, where you can uh, see for tickets and times. But uh, I guess it's been popular enough that it started at the end of June, to July, I should say, after the stampede. And apparently there's spots available right up until the end of 2021. So yeah, it's just basically my rambling and sharing my experience and my gallery. Uh, beyond Van Gogh, I finally got around to making this video and hope you enjoy it. So as I have to say, if you want to follow along this Calgary sports fan's journey, Home of the Flames, Hitman, Roughnecks, and Stan Peters. I do mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel, recapping games and stories and all that. But I do a variety of non sports content, personal blogs, attempt to comedy, and I do share some on the road or a sport event. And you can also say that this kind of would be a vlogging on the go, except I can't really vlog on the go at the Beyond Van Gogh with a camera, and they kind of didn't like that. And I would say that how I tried to do with my compact camera, that apparently you see a light, and they thought that I was doing flash photography. So I had to try to be discreet, because they thought it was flash photography. You know, I had the flash off, it was the focus. So I had a little spiel of that, but I wasn't kicked out or anything. But uh, it was a little tougher to do vlogging on the go, but this is kind of like my schnook blast style, where I give an intro, show you the actual heart of the... Uh, show and then give you my take afterwards and I'd say it's definitely worth going if you have the time and money or maybe use it as a Christmas gift on the go as we're heading into the holiday season so as I say if that all sounds like be interesting to watch to follow along with this Calgary Sports fans journey you know what you do just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe I also have my other social links down in the description below and I do have my second channel in Brett Hornby Shorts where I put exclusively my short form content on there. So I appreciate like subscribe on my main channel right here and my YouTube shorts, right over my shorts for my YouTube shorts there as well. So I'd say thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed what I shared with my Beyond Van Gogh and hopefully you were able to enjoy 
the experience itself, if you're able to take it in, whether right here in Calgary or wherever else it was offered, apparently it's been offered like all over North America. When I was up in Edmonton for the Labor Day rematch, I did see an ad on the LRT that there was that similar show coming to Edmonton. So even people up north, up to QE2, apparently got to experience Beyond Van Gogh as well. So I just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.